Hi, Teffel Dude here, and today I want to introduce you to these new bulbs called the Whiz Bulbs. Now, they make them in two different sizes. They're made by Philips, but they're not as expensive as the Philips Hue Bulbs that also need a hub. With these, you just need your mobile app. Now, the reason I'm introducing these is because they've also made a remote control that goes with it. And this remote control is useful, especially if, if you have a person who doesn't like gadgets. Maybe you're making it for a friend, or maybe they have a family, and you don't want to be giving, giving everyone access to the, uh, the, the app and changing the lights all the time. So you can just come home, simply click a button. If I click number one, here's the buttons. And then this I've set to be the warm light. Obviously, there are only four buttons, so you can only set it to four different lights, but that's usually enough. So if I was to click number two, that's a green light. And you can notice on here, on this side here, notice how it changes on your app as well. And now I'll click number three, which is gonna be really, really bright and blinding. So uh, that's just because the settings on my iPad are set really low. So it looks blinding, but it's not. It's just a work light. So a number four, I've set to party mode, as you can see, and all the lights change different colors. So if you're interested in this kind of bulb, then you need to be getting the whiz bulb. They're a little more expensive than the hammer bulb. Click the link above, which I've done a video on the hammer bulb, and it is by far the cheapest. I think it's like six euro. These are about 10 or 15 euro, but these are much better. I mean, the colors are so rich, but the main thing is the remote control. So let me just show you a few things on the app that show you how it works. Now, first of all, let's have a look at the array of colors they have. They have so many more colors than the Hammer app or the Hammer bulb. And you can see here, let me just move this out of the way. They've got loads of different whites. They've got warm white, they've got daylight, they've got cool white, night, obviously. Uh, they've got, uh, let's go back to relax. They've got relaxing. Then they've got uh, plant growth. I'm not sure if plants grow with this light but you can always check it out. Then there's focus, when you really need to focus on your work. Oh, that's quite nice, nice blue. And then there is, uh, there's loads that TV time, for some reason, people watch TV when it's blue. Don't ask me. And you've got these other things, you've got candlelight, and I believe this changes colors, uh, it, like beats, like you can see it changing color now. So, Another reason for getting this is there's so many, so many colors for you to look at. This kind of blue, there's there's Christmas, which is basically just everything changes from red and green. So once again, I can go back to my button and click it. Don't forget you can also click them off and on again. Next, if you want to add them to Siri, in order to say, hey Siri, do something, then you have to add it to the scenes. And I'll show you how to do that as well. And you can see uh, I've got cozy, I've got party. Uh, what else is there? Daylight. I can never remember the phrases of these Siri things. So I always have to go into edit and see what, what it is that I said, edit in Siri. Apply daylight in the living room, okay. So let's go back. Hey Siri, Apply daylight in the living room. Okay, setting using words. Ta-da! It does it. You do have to remember the phrase though. So sometimes I forget what to say and then it doesn't turn on. But again, you got this. Let's have a look at more things. There's something called rhythm. Not sure what that is. There's when you go on vacation, you can change the app. And finally, there's the settings. And obviously I'm signed in with Apple, but 
I don't believe you need to sign in with anything. The accessories are the only thing that uh, you need to think about if you want to add the living room remote. And you can see I've added it here. And when I click on it, you can see I've chosen those things and you can change them. Notice one thing as well, I've, I've got a living room motion center. Now, this is something that I bought. I don't kind of need it, I just bought it. I wanted to see how it worked. But it's useful if you have kids and they're going to the bathroom, you can have this light so that when they walk in, the light comes on, they've got five minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, if nobody moves, it goes off. So that's probably what they use in pubs and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my app and start afresh. So maybe that's enough information for you and you're quite happy to go and get uh, everything and set it up yourself. But if you're, if you're not too sure about how to do all this thing, then continue watching and I'll be back with you after my intro. Right, so I've deleted the app off my iPhone and I've left the lights on because to reset them, I'm going to have to turn them off and on about five times. Now, let's get the app first. Go to the App Store and you want to get Wiz connected. So simply download that and that should take a short while. Okay, so I'm going to press open. And it asks me for a number of things. Would I like to connect to the local server? Yes, I would. Allow everything else. Scroll down quickly and acknowledge at the bottom. And now create a new home. The great thing about this is with the hammer bulbs, you do have to make a, a registration with some email address. With this, you don't need to do that. So that's the great thing about this. So I'm going to create a new home. OK, and I'll click Save. Now, accept the Bluetooth and add a room. Now, you can add as many rooms as you like. I'm just going to add the living room, even though it's in the bedroom. I'm going to move these lamps to the living room later. And I'll click Save. Now I've added my living room. I'm going to add a device. So add a device. I'm going to add a light. Make sure you're on the 2.4 gigahertz wavelength, not the five gigahertz because it won't work. I know I just tried. So there's my password, Wi-Fi password. And always go for smart pairing. Now I'm going to switch, well, power the lights off, power them on. I'm going to power them on, but I'll probably do it four or five times because they're, I've used them before. If they're fresh, you should just be able to power them on once. Okay, now I have a blue pulsing light. That should be what I need. So let's wait for a little bulb to appear in the top. There it is, straight away. Now I can actually press finish now. Even though it's still whizzing around, you don't have to keep doing this. Just click finish. It's found what you like. Choose the right icon, which I've done, and click done. So now you can see it's got the warm white. And if I click down here, I can click it to plant growth color, or uh, let's go back to TV time. So therefore you've got the blue, and it's on full power. So I've got one bulb ready to go. Let's add the other bulb. So we click here at the top. Click light. There's my password and continue. Press start again. And this time I'm gonna click on and off the small bulb. Okay, so the bulb is pulsing. I'm going to click Start. And this one should be found as easy. There we go. Like I say, 
let it whiz for a little bit if you want, but really it's found it. So you can click finish and choose which bulb it is. It is this one. I'll click done. And now you can see the blue one is this bulb. The other one is yellow. But if I want to make them both the same color, you can do this thing where you push the, if I click this one, I'm only controlling this one or I'm only controlling this one. To control them together, you have to click it and slide it like this. And ta-da! Now I can say both of them are plant growth. And that's how to get them both working together. I usually work them both together, but maybe at night time, you could just switch this one off like that. And then you've only got this one working, which is quite nice. Okay, so I've locked the colors in with my camera at least. So it's nice and warm and you can see if I change the colors to plant growth, you can I can show off the lovely colors that there are in this device. And I've got the, uh, the jungle green, which I love. I love this green. And I showed you all that in the introduction. So now what we want to do is we want to pair up our device here, which I have. And at the moment, I'm not sure if the settings work because I haven't installed it. So if I click, nothing's really happening with these buttons. All you need to do is we need to, again, we're adding a device. So go to the top and this time we add a Wizmote. It's as simple as that. And it says, press on your Wizmote three times and wait for a few seconds. So uh, I'm going to press it on, off, on, off, on. I think that's what it meant. But it's there anyway. So I just click on that, click finish, if I can. And let's see if anything happens when I click these buttons. Because what Wiz has done, it's decided what the button should be in advance. And so I've got no control over this at the moment. But now, in order to change these Wiz icons here, you see one is fireplace, another one is cozy, relax. Where's number four? In forest. Now we can change these. You simply go along the bottom, I click done. Simply go along the bottom here to where it says settings and go into your accessory and go into the Wismo and there you can see the color. So I could change number one from, well, I don't want to change number one. Maybe I'll change relax. Uh, I'll change that to candlelight. Save and you can see it's saved to candlelight. Actually, I am going to save that to number two to be um, uh, maybe romance. Let's turn it on romance. Save. And you can see the romance. Number three, which is at the bottom, I usually have that for when I want to work. So I'll put that to warm white. I like that. Okay. So that's Walmart. So now if I press three, way, it's really, it's actually really nice. It's not as dazzling as that. We'll go back to one cozy. And the forest one, I like the forest one. So maybe I'll leave that there. Uh, no, I prefer jungle green. That was much nicer. So I can just click on that and click on jungle green. And now when I click it, I've got that really nice deep green. So I'll go back to number one, and it's as simple as that. There's your Wiimote set up. Now, it says that if your Wi-Fi isn't working, this will still work, even if the Wi-Fi is cut off. The final thing I'll show you, if you want to know what this red dot is, it's merely saying that I haven't signed in yet. I haven't given it an account, which is great because on the hammer bulbs I did a video on before, you do need an internet address. On this, you don't. That's why I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, so what you, what we will do is we're simply going to add a scene. 
This is so that you can use the Siri function. So let's, uh, there are no scenes available. Now in order to add scene, you have to be in the color that you want to make a scene of. Now I've chosen to go onto focus. So that's my, so choose the one you want first, then go into the scene and simply click add. Add it to the living room and you can see it's already ready. Uh, so I'm gonna rename it focus. Okay, click done. So it's called focus. Create this scene. And now I can add it to Siri. Now, if I was to say apply focus in living room, it will do that. We can leave that. We can change the voice if you want. Let's see if I can change it. Focus in living room. So if I just check what I've done, uh, it should be focus in living room is enough. So let's go back and change it to a different color. In fact, why don't I just use this? There you go. I'm on a different color. So I'm going to go to my scene. I'm just going to uh, see if it does that. Hey Siri, focus in living room. Okay, setting using Wiz. Excellent. That's all you have to do. So now you can see that I can change the bulbs just using the voice activation, but you will have to add each one. So if you wanted all of these uh, colors, you would have to go through each one, change that color to what you had before, and then add it to the scene. But this video has always been about this remote control, making it easy for families to use uh, the different colored lights in your living room. Remember, in the settings, there is this application for, if you want to allow Google or Alexa, you will have to enable it. It's disabled by default. Uh, I do use IFTTT, which if this, then that something, because I use it for my stream deck. I can show you how to do that one day. But for now, that's enough of the video. I hope you enjoy these bulbs. They're the best bulbs ever. I do like the hammer bulbs because they're cheaper, but these have the best quality of color I've ever seen, and this. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a like. See you on the next video.